Hello students, uh, today we will talk about isometric view of a square base frustum. So let us first understand what is a square base frustum. Uh, suppose we have a square pyramid, pyramid whose base is a square. So if I cut this particular pyramid by using a cutting plane which is parallel to its base and if I remove the top portion of the pyramid then I get this particular solid. So this is called as square base frustum. Over here if we see its uh, base edge is of 50 mm given in the question base edge is 50 mm and its top face is of 30 mm its top face edge is 30 and uh, its height is mentioned as 50 mm so this is 50 mm so if we have to draw such solids again uh, we have to follow the box method which we have learned in the previous lecture which was related to cone frustum. So what we do in uh, box method, we assume that our solid is enclosed inside a box. So if I have to enclose this solid inside the box, that box length will be equal to length of this frustum which is 50 and width will be equal to the width of the frustum 50 and height will be equal to height of the frustum 50. So all three dimensions are same, it means we need to draw a cube. It means first of all we will draw isometric of the cube, inside that isometric we will generate the isometric of this solid. So first step is draw isometric of the cube. So let us draw isometric of the cube. I hope you all are aware how to draw the isometric of the cube because we have discussed uh, its procedure in the previous lectures as well. So draw a line, choose one point, align your uh, protector with that point draw two isometric axes on both sides which will be at 30 degrees so let us quickly join these points to get the two isometric axes at the start you can draw any length but keep these lines thin now cut these two to 50 mm So both axes should be cut to 50 mm. Now in this case let us uh, draw the base as well. So from this particular point again draw 50. Then from this point 50. We will get another intersection. Join these points to get the base of the cube. Keep everything thin. Now erase the extensions. So we are ready with the base of the cube. Let us draw the height from all the four corners. Line your scale with the grid carefully. So this is 50. So from here 50. So from this point as well draw 50 millimeters. it would exactly stop at this particular point. Then from this point draw 50 again. Join all these points at the top. So now you see we are ready with the isometric of the cube. Now in this we will generate isometric of the square base frustum. So the base edge of this frustum is 50. So the base of this box is also 50. It means uh, we are ready with the base of the square base frustum. But if we talk about the top face of the square base frustum it is 30. But at the top of the box we have a box of 50 by 50. So in the previous lecture we have learned how to create a box of 30 by 30 inside another box. Uh, 
uh, that question was related to cone frustum. So let us apply the same method. So what we have to do inside this box of 50 by 50, we need a box of 30 by 30. So for that, find the midpoints of all the sides first. As we know that all sides are of 20, uh, 50 millimeters. So we need to open the compass to 25 millimeters. So mark the midpoints of all the sides. Now we will join these midpoints with the thin lines. So those will be called as two center lines. So we got the center. Now over here from center we will mark 15, 15, 15, 15 on all the four sides. Because at the top we need to create a box of 30 by 30. So from center 15, from center 15, 15, 15. So let us open the compass to 15 mm. This method we have already used in the previous question. So from center 15, 15, 15 and on the fourth axis as well 15 then uh, use your roller scale align your roller scale with this particular axis roll back to this point draw a line here then roll back to that point draw another line here then line your roller scale with this particular axis roll back to this point we can draw a line here then roll back roll to this particular point another line so you will be able to generate a box but if you don't have roller scale then use your compass so what is the method open compass to 15 why 15 because all the points are at 15 mm from the center so let us use these two points first distance of this point from the center is 15 mark this distance from the opposite point now distance of this point from the center is again 15 so mark the distance from the second point in this manner you will generate the corner so use these two points now now distance of this point from the center is again 15 measure this distance mark from this point now distance of this point from the center is 15 measure this distance mark from that point so use these two points now and draw two arcs 15 each then use these two points so see it is 15 mark from the first point this is also 15 mark from the second point so in this manner you will generate four corners join these with the thick lines now because this is the top face of the frustum which will be visible to us in this particular view so join these points with thick lines you see we are ready with the top face of the square base frustum now join this edge uh, this corner to this corner so this will be the this will be the front edge of the square base frustum join these two corners second edge these two third edge and make these two edges thick so this is the final solid you see we kept this particular edge and this edge thin because these two edges are hidden behind these two faces so now let us place dimensions align your scale with this axis 1mm gap thin line with the, this axis 1m gap thin line use your ruler scale align your ruler scale with this axis roll back by 10 or 15 millimeters draw another thin line dimension line place closed field arrow heads on both sides and mention its dimension which is 50 so align with this particular axis extend this line with this particular axis 1m gap extend this line Align your scale with this edge, roll back by 10 or 15 millimeters, draw a dimension line and close field arrow heads on both sides. So we will say it is again 50, width is also 50. Now place its height aligned with this particular edge, extend it here, this particular edge, extend it 
and use this particular grid this column draw vertical line so add arrowheads and place its dimension height which is again 50 now for the top face align with this particular line extend it with this line extend it line your ruler scale with this edge roll back by 10 or 15 millimeters so draw a dimension line so this is again 30 so now you see uh, we have to place the angles also this is 30 degree here and 30 degree here so I hope uh, the isometric view of the square face frustum is clear to you thank you very much